every now and then you'll get massive whiffs of like video we were checking out the trails here in Pont-Neuve, Quebec and just 20 minutes away up a few side roads here is the town of uh, Saint Basile so they got a bunch of cool trails here we're gonna go and uh, check them out in this vid so the trails are running through mostly evergreen pine forests which uh, adds a special flavor to it there's a few creeks valleys ravines along the way so the trail builders made good use of the topography here so in the main bulk of the trails here there's not a whole lot of vert you're looking at around 75 foot deltas just the two trails on the back end here are a little bit more mountainous there's a little bit of uh, a climb to get up to the top here these two trails here are both uh, downhill only uh, most of the trails are greens and blues so beginners and intermediates it's a great place to bring a beginner or bring uh, smaller kids they should have no problem doing some of the greens and blues they'll have uh, a lot of fun here so I would definitely consider it more of a, a family oriented uh, trail network okay so the plan for today is to start at the parking we're gonna work our way in and take these double track trails Chemin d'Axa and Saint Saint d'Axa out to this green trail here called La Baselaine and this is one that runs through mostly a pine forest up on a ridge there's some pretty good flow in the first half and then it's just kind of flat to uh, get back all right and then after that we'll uh, move further in and check out some more of these uh, trails further in the network so without further ado let's get on our bikes and get going Right, so uh, this is Santi uh, Saint Basil. This place is not too far up the road from uh, from Pont Neuf. It's maybe 20 minutes or so. This little stream. So first time here. Another one I've been wanting to try for a while. Looks like we got some double track that'll lead us in further in and uh, here we go. So I'll head in a bit further on this double track and then uh, we'll go hit some trails. Okay, so in that clip I was going on La Chanteuse. So I just have to do a little course correction there and then get on the uh, Chamin d'Axa just off to the left. Okay, so these are uh, two of the trails coming down. We'll take these after. They have this trail marked as like a pedestrian trail, so I'm not sure why, but this is uh, like an access trail to get to these guys. So, not sure what that is, but there you go. It's like Tsines, uh, I forget what they're called. But uh, I'm just going to head out that way. I want to do, there's a green run, kind of uh, a little loop out there. Knock that one out first, get that one done. Is uh, basilic or something? Perfect. So I was right there. It's going this way. This picnic table. It's cool. This is cool here. It looks like they like logged it or something. Okay. So I get these two uh, blues and then. Uh, as in the end. All right, I'll do this green one first. So, FYI, this place is definitely more family friendly than uh, Pop Move. Here's the trails. I guess I'll find out exactly, but just from the videos.
obviously this green one's gonna be pretty easy going. Crossing my fingers, there's good flow. I guess the trail starts here. It's really soft. This place would have been ideal for the electric bike, but can't win them all, eh? I'm just gonna earn your turns. Super nice pine forest out here. Awesome. Yeah, nice, nice trail. Flows pretty well. Uh, this way. Woo! Yeah. Nice. Cool. Oh, not paying attention on that one. That cobweb in my face. Big ravine off to the left. Nice field down there. Or, uh, field. The uh, stream. You can hear it. Got uh, got some Angels Bench vibes going on. Super nice. Yeah, you can actually see the, uh, the rapids down below. It's nice. Okay. Probably going up a bit. Might be it for the flow. We just be on the flats going back. Hmm. Yeah, so it's kind of just flat going back. Oh, it does a loop, I see. Nice little loop. All right, so basically just heads back. Same way we came in. I'm going to far back up uh, at the blues. Head down on those. Okay, so Baz uh, loops around. And I'm gonna try. So I think the way I'm gonna plan this ride is I'll, I'll do one of these guys right now. I'm gonna go hit the other trails more on the interior of the uh, network. And then on the way back, I'll hit uh, the other one. So I'll do uh, the Sid's Bomo. Try that one. And then on the way back, I'll do the other one. It's Ness. Okay. Oh yeah, get more speed in here. <laughs> Okay. Let's pedal 
little bit. I'm making our way down here. to uh, go back up, go further in. Okay, so now we're gonna hop onto La Chanteuse. We're gonna go all the way out to this section here, and we're gonna take this trail here called La Alphonse. So again, just to note before I climb, I'm taking this called La Chanteuse. It's gonna bring us further out into the network. That's where we went last time to get the uh, those little trails uh, that we just looked at. So this is the way to go, stick right. Trail's so nice. It's a great name for it. Every now and then you'll get massive whiffs of like evergreen pine or cedar. It's so nice. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, there's a lot of pines around here. Super nice. All right, so we're at this intersection down here. So there's two ways to get up to uh, La Alphonse. You can use this climbing trail here, La Côte à Doum, or you can just take the uh, road double track, Monte Retour de la Chanteuse. I found this was just the easier way, and I ended up just using this trail to come back down to La Chanteuse. So we'll see what that all looks like in the following clips. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna climb here, and I'm gonna check out, um, there's uh, La Alphonse. So I think there's a little climb here. There's two climbs. I'll figure that out. Yes. So Alphonse is up there. Okay. Cool. Nice little bench. All right. So it looks like we got a climb going right here. Look at those pines, man. Oh. All right, fire back up in a bit. All right, so we have La Fons, sponsored by Desjardins, it looks like. And then uh, we just biked up there. This is one of the climb, uh, climb connectors. So. La Fons does like a big loop. As well, uh, try it out. See if it's yay or nay. Uh, this is a green trail.
this. Oh yeah, that's cool. It's running along ridgelands. Oh. That's climbing. Oh, about my shock. Okay. Let's go here. Not. There you go. It's a bit smoother. Electric bike for this one. Whoa. Ba -ba -ba. Beautiful forest, man. Beautiful. Smells are intoxicating. Super fun little trail. Love that. Okay, cool. Great trail for kids and stuff. Um, a race. So, actually, I'm not going to do Gustav yet. Um, because I want to head out further. So, let's go here for now. Okay, so that's Gustav, but I want to get into get back out on the uh, chanteurs. So let's go this way. Okay, so Gustav starts there. Let's go back down. This hill here. Okay. I forget which one this is called. This is like a, a climbing trail to get up here. I just used the, uh, the gravel road, but this is, uh, again, a trail for, well, apparently a very muddy trail to uh yeah it's gonna be a little bit rough to climb better off just using the, the road all right so we're gonna go further in back on uh yeah let's stick with this ha. so nice no not sand uh yeah, so there should be two other trails further in. I'm gonna check the map and uh, see what's up with that. All right, so we're back down the mountain by the river, and then we're gonna get onto a trail called La Rabillard. It's the same trail as Chanteuse, they just changed the name. And that'll bring us out to these two trails right here. We're gonna pick up the La Picnic climb, and then we're gonna do the uh, downhill after that. All right, so I'm just gonna stick with this. And now uh, close my shock off. So this is just staying on Chanteurs, going a bit further out. This is gonna kind of 
get away from the uh, river a bit and there's gonna be two trails should be off to the right so maybe they're right here you can get in there you know those two yeah shell skeleton yeah looks like it's uh, this way I guess yeah okay so here we go This is the uh, climbing one. It's like a uh, tea picnic, something, something. back here oh boy. definitely climbing oh yeah big climbs okay so I think uh, just a lot of this kind of climbing up I'm going to fire back up when I'm on that uh, downhill version of this which is right beside here so watching the videos of this place the YouTube videos really this place has like a decent amount of vert and the climbs are pretty punchy too so it definitely doesn't come across when you watch the videos I was expecting like pretty flat almost more like uh, domain by kind of uh, you know situation but uh, it's quite mountainous back here because uh, most of the guys don't show the climbs and all that kind of stuff but uh, nothing too big I'd say maybe a good 75 foot deltas if not a little more so I think uh, almost to the top Okay, you made it to the top of uh, Picnic Monte, the climb. Now I'm gonna do Picnic uh, going down. That Picnic. Oh, and I will uh, open my shock up too. That might help. All right. Oh, guess that was supposed to be a jump. Oh, drop, I missed it. <laughs> like two lines there. Oh. Hopefully, lacking the speed for some of this stuff. Apparently. Ooh. Oh geez, that's so slippy. Yeah, it's uh, she's real slippy. So that was a little picnic down. Um, we go back up and uh, it's like some stuff further out too. Check that out. Seriously, man, look how like freaking beautiful is this? This is just like a little double track to the left of the picnic trails. Just gonna walk it. Yeah. Perfect time of year or two. These are just changing. Nice.
Okay, so in that next clip, I just hiked up the tail end of La Rabia right here, and then I'm right at the top. So what you want to do is you want to just continue on and go out to the uh, service road here. Basically, you'll see a trail going beside a shed. That's pretty much what you want to take just to get out that way. So just to note, there are a few connectors here that'll get you to the trailhead of La Chasse Galerie, but I'm only going to take this trail on the way back, and I'm going to actually get into it using this connector right here. So we'll see that a little later on in the video. So just back at that intersection with uh, Picnic, top of the climb here, got that little cabane. If you want to get out way further to uh, Inukshuk, just uh, hang it right here, go past the cabane. That's going to be the way. And then uh, Chasse you I'm going to take that on the way back. That's just uh, straight. So on the way back, I'll hit that. Go this way to get out to the far end. It's pretty far out too, so you get a little bit of pedaling there. Perfect, double track. Going way far out. Okay, so this first road on the left, don't turn in there right away, you gotta keep going to get to uh, the trails. But on the way back, we're actually gonna turn in there because there's a trail you can take to get to uh, Chasse Galerie. So yeah, it's uh, have to sort of do a bit of exploring and looping back a bit. Signage is like, eh, not so good. But hopefully this video will help. Okay, so in the next portion of the video, we're gonna be checking out the back end here. And in the next clip, you're gonna see me, I'll be turning off onto this road here called Monte Vert Le Relais. So it's a road double track going towards the chalet up on top of this mountain here. There's two downhill trails here, Le Nuxuc and La Nunivit. Both good trails with some pretty unique features. The only thing is because it's pretty far on the outskirts of the network, whether you wanna include it in your ride or not, that's gonna be the question. By the time I got out here, I was kind of running out of steam. So I maybe would have liked to hit them up earlier in the ride. So just something to think about. Oh, one more thing. There's this little trail here you can take as a shortcut. Just a super small trail to get you into this uh, double track access road. I just ended up taking it on the way back, kind of in the reverse direction. Here we go. So this is pretty far out. Pretty far down the road. Um, yeah, that we can take on the way back. I think it's probably gonna be a little bit of a climb here. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Only climbing. It's a bit of a mountain here. It's for what it's worth, uh, pretty massive climb. A lot of loose rocks and shale. So definitely. Definitely more of an e-bike uh, hit out here, these two. It's pretty freaking far out. Hello. Anybody home? No animals or anything? Oh, nice. Smells so cabiny. Nice little, uh, this little cabin. Smells like smoky firewood. Okay, so gotta keep climbing up. All right, so this one looks pretty good. I need a bit. Let's give her. Climb the start out. Whoa, sweet. Let's 
Let's go nice and high. Nice. Yeah. This is a blue. Nice slobs. Oh, oh camber slabs. <laughs> like the worst gear I'm getting a speed roll. Just a little tired. I can place it so far out. Nice burn man. those big hits. Right down. Oh boy, race right through the bottom. Oh, so just be aware of that. I'm gonna climb all the way back up. So I guess I'll go do uh, an shook and then uh, that's it. I'm out of here. I I'm not quite sure if these are worth the trek out here, unless you're on like an e-bike. I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, hike back up and. Uh, freaking uh, hit the other one. All right. This is that Inuk Shik. This is a black diamond. Not really sure what to expect. Baby heads are like moss covered. It's just like, wow. Skipping off. Oh, oh. sideways on that
trail crew, trail crew. It's a run strike. Yeah. Oh, and it joins into the uh, the end of it. Cool. the same ending there. All right, that's it. We'll knock. Okay, so there's two, three trails left to do on the way back. This is a big long stretch to get back, so I'll fire back up uh, when there's some more single track. So a few clips ago, I had talked about grabbing this connector here. That's going to bring us into the trailhead for La Chasse Galerie. So that's what you'll see me doing. I'm turning uh, right off of the uh, dirt road, coming into this little section here, and then grabbing that connector. Okay, so that's going to give us access to La Chasse Galerie, which is a keystone trail, super fun trail. And then from there, we're just going to climb up the uh, gravel road where we were before, and we're going to connect up to Monsieur Gustave or A Gustave. And that's another beautiful single track that runs through the pine forest and through some of the meadows as well. And that'll bring us all the way back to the access road. And then we're just going to hop on the access road and then we're going to grab this trail right here. Let's nest bicycle. And that's going to bring us right back down to the parking lot. So in the following clips, you're going to see those three trails consecutively. It's a super scenic, flowy way to end your ride and get back to the parking lot. Okay, so remember that first kind of street there, road? We're going here. There's a connector you can go in and connect to uh, Shell's Gallery. Should bring us back to where we want to be. Mound. Whew. Legs are starting to feel it. Okay, so this is uh, Shaskadari. I'll make sure to put that title in. So off to the left there, big valley and stream. 
This one's got some flow going too. Pretty cool. Yeah, this would be a keystone for sure. You could uh goes well even on normal bike, so electric bike just fill in the gaps. Nice. Yeah. Oh dude, so cool. Man, this trail's awesome. Total keystone. This is a must-do. Pedaling section here. Oh, I'm getting wrecked. Don't have much left in me. Yeah. Nice. Seriously, wake a trail. Freaking. Oh. Yeah, freaking fun, man. Right on. Jesus. <laughs> Drainage ditch. Watch out for that. Oh. oh well. I'm not a big fan of mud. Oh, dude. Okay, ending a little sketchy, but uh, seriously, Keystone Trail, super fun. It's a must do. So, we were here earlier. I'm gonna go up, hit uh, Mr. Gustav and head back. Use that one as the uh, as a return trail. So I'm just gonna do the little climb here, get on top of the hill, and then uh, make my way back on uh, Mr. Gustav. All right, this little break. This is gonna be a Gustav uh, going back to the uh, towards the parking lot, kind of as a get out. And it's the last big trail I ride at this uh, today, at this network. So, let's see if I can uh, figure this out here. So, where is Gustav? Is this it? I think this is it right here. Yeah, that'd be it. Okay. This is a green trail. Family friendly. Oh man, this forest is really nice, like very scenic. Just off to the side there is a big, big valley and the, the river is down below. Still got a bit of steam, but I'm feeling it. Legs are feeling it. Nice. Oh yeah. Cool. Seems like another keystone. Sick. Yeah, rain right mud. Whew. 
Nice trail run. Brings us over to the trailhead here. I'm gonna go hit that one because I didn't do that one. I don't know about you guys, but I am beat. It was a big day of riding. I'm gonna go hit the Airbnb, have a swim, get some grub, see what this one looks like. Oh, I love the stumps. Whoa, yeah. Whoa. Oh, I gotta get in the gear. Oh, I'm just so tired. I can't pedal. Hey! Hold on. Oh, yeah. Beauty. Oh, fuck. Toast. Oh man. Not bad, not bad. Good day. <laughs> 